Hi Mayfield, it's Miss McPhee and it is Thursday, February 6th, and this is a video for our Math 6 students homework that's due tomorrow. I did go to the shoebox and, well I saw this one, can you do this week's homework? Well I'm not going to do all of it, no, but I did also see um, how, how about in two, the second question, so I'm guessing that's down here. That sounds reasonable. We can go ahead and look at a tape diagram. I do want to remind you the homework this week is front and back. And we will be finishing up this unit. We have two lessons, a lesson tomorrow and a lesson Monday. We'll review Tuesday and our quiz will be next Wednesday on the 9th. So looking at your suggestion, if I'm reading it correctly, second question and number two. How many three-fourths are in two? So I'm taking my two and I'm figuring out how many groups of three-fourths are in there? Which means down here, I'm gonna make my two groups and each group I'm gonna cut into fourths. So I'm actually gonna draw it this way today. Here's my group of one, cut into fourths. And here's my two. And I'm cutting them into fourths. And then the question is saying how many groups of three-fourths can we fit inside? So this is when we're going to start doing our counting. We're going to count by groups of three. So there's one group of three. That's one group of three-fourths. Here's a second group of three-fourths. And then we don't have a third group. We don't have enough. So here's my whole number. My whole number is two. I have two groups of three-fourths. I have two left over. My leftovers are my numerator. My denominator is how much is in each group. And in each group we have three. So the answer is two and two thirds. And I hope that tape diagram helps you see it. All right, we're gonna keep practicing this. You're doing a good job. I'm seeing it develop each day. Just keep with it, don't give up. I love how much you're thinking about these problems and asking questions. I will see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.